You need to apologize to me right now. Serious? Harry and Meghan think they're legends in their own minds. Their egos require constant feeding. So now the Megans are cooking up two new Netflix shows. They're jumping into politics, all while continuing to stage paparazzi events for their own head trips. And just as it comes out that Harry always believed, Meghan should have been queen. I think he believes, and this might surprise you or not, that Meghan is the one who should take over. As queen? Yeah. The good news, the truth will out. Their money's drying up. Netflix is going to be pissed. American Riviera Orchard was just dealt another blow. And a federal judge just got a hold of all of Harry's visa paperwork. And all just days before he flew to Miami to share his love of Africa. You know, every time the couple takes an action, it only exposes more of who they really are. The California chicken coopers better buckle up because they're in for a bumpy ride. What's going on, everybody? Megan and Harry are back at it. It's been less than a month since the world was rocked by the news from Princess Catherine. Yet still, you got the couple that chase fame like fiends are back. They're returning to hog the spotlight. Damn, anyone in their way. When you're a new mom, it is a really vulnerable time. And the effect that social media can have on new mothers... I mean, even just the lack of sleep because they spend all this time scrolling and scrolling, but it can also be really dizzying for them. I'm fortunate in that, you know, uh, amongst the, the privileges that I have in my life, I have an incredible partner. What? Megan seems to think that the real world pressures on new mothers isn't about how they can pay their bills, feed their children, or raise them to be good people. She actually thinks that stress comes from trying to manage their social media accounts, learning which way they got to swipe on their Instagram account. So the Look At Me Leech is going to teach all women how to garden, cook, and entertain. Meghan Markle sets lifestyle series and polo championship series at Netflix. Harry and Meghan are using Archwell Productions to work with Sony Studios and Netflix to develop a kind of like his and hers reality series. And here so many people thought that Netflix could never do comedy right. Well, first on the menu is cooking with Walmart Wallace. You just want to have it lengthwise so that it ends up still keeping that base on there mm -hmm. because ultimately you can end up holding it like a handheld salad, okay. right? So we'll take a couple of the pieces out from the middle to create a bit of a boat to put our ingredients in. We'll have Ready? Yep, go. She who must be obeyed just got a promotion. Not only will she be able to continue to order her ginger handbag around, but now everyone on the set. Megan just became the executive producer of both series, so she has a new title to add to her resume. Ah, okay, then you must be in the national system. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, is this you? Sorority girl, actress, influencer, victim. Yeah, that's totally me. Cameras are going to take the audience into the life of two Hollywood wannabes who are desperately trying to connect and relate to everyday people. So it'll probably start with Megan in a dirty ball gown with her hands in the mud in the garden before she throws a party for her Hollywood friends and then turns around to cook up a quick quiche in her multi-million dollar kitchen, which is worth about six lifetimes worth of car payments to an average person. And then it'll jump to Harry as he takes a time out from lounging by the pool and raising his rescue chickens. Sir, your millions from Netflix for no one knows what. Put it with the rest of them. Mr. Hasbin is really eager to show everyone how he really earns his paycheck with Netflix. He's not only going to saddle up on your screen, he's going to gallop up on his high horse and show all of us how Polo can bridge the gap between the private jet set crowd and the common everyday couch potato. That is, of course, unless his executive producer gets in the way. She's, I don't know why she's up there, for one, but she was seen sort of pushing for a prime spot on the podium. The teammates were having none of it. They were just not even acknowledging her, not sort of letting her participate. Even Harry was not paying her much attention. The only thing the Megans need to do to win over people's hearts next is to promote both programs under the same tagline. Give them cake. Although she keeps trying to do something, she always gets it wrong. And putting up one page for her new website, which you just mentioned the name of, um, was ridiculous because nothing's followed it. Netflix should cut their losses because the Montecito manipulators, that one-trick pony, is headed for the glue factory. 
Meghan Markle and Prince Harry weighed into politics ahead of the 2024 election. Now, the majority of the people I talk to on a daily basis say that they are sick and tired of hearing celebrities. It doesn't matter if they're A-list or D-list, bottom drawer name droppers. They are tired of hearing celebrities talk about their personal politics. Period. End of statement. Procter & Gamble changed the commercial for their ivory clear dishwashing liquid from women all over America to people all over America. A bold move that changes nothing. The Montecito merchandisers are teaming up with the Hollywood Hive to fight AI misinformation. Now, my opinion, especially after the news reports came out that you had the Megans are having some financial difficulties, I think they just made a big, big mistake. The, the gruesome twosome from Montecito are struggling for cash. Uh, they're going through money like water. Uh, and they need to find new streams of revenue, hence American Riviera Orchard and these two new shows. Jumping into the election arena will not help the Megan sell a single padded dog bowl cover. Not one. All it will end up doing is poisoning American Riviera Orchard's brand with all potential customers, especially now that the company has already lost credibility when its Instagram account was found out to have fake followers. Then toss into that mix how they're trying to launch two new Netflix shows and talk about politics. Well, that's a recipe for disaster to a pair whose public image is already on life support. It's basically, I mean, these two sort of absolute narcissists, they're like, what do we do now? I know, let's make a series, one about how great I am and how everyone should emulate my life because I'm so perfect and wonderful and you want a garden like mine and you want a kitchen like mine and you want to cook some beige food like I do and you want to buy all my products from whatever it's called, Riviera Globfest McVooney. When it's raining, it's pouring. A new Daily Mail poll spotlights how 68% of Americans give a thumbs down to American Riviera Orchard. Basically, nobody wants to buy any kale butter, let alone monogram mittens for mice for Megan. Plus the fact that people on both sides of the ponds have reached the end of their rope. They are annoyed that Megan continues to promote herself at the expense of King Charles, Princess Catherine, but most of all, the man who brought her to the ball, her husband. The timing of that, which was a few minutes before Harry spoke mm. about his mother, when she was giving it out, that was her charity in respect of her passing, giving it to young people. Um, she took away his spotlight moment, and I thought that was very cruel, and I wondered whether it had all been timed so it would come one after the other, because Harry gets very, very little. Just a couple of days ago, the husband, formerly known as Prince, had such a hectic schedule in between scheduling his polo match and playing his Xbox player that he was burned out. So much so that he refused to do a public live stream for a $1,600 a ticket event that CEOs had already paid for to listen to the guy talk about, now get this, beyond burnout in the corporate world. I'm really proud of us. I think it's really rich that Harry, of all people, is going to share life lessons about the workspace. I mean, we're talking about the man baby who only worked an hour a week, according to the 2022 Archwell Foundation report. Yet, the man still found the time to take pictures at the event with actress Mindy Kaling. And then a couple of days later, he flew out to Miami on a private jet. Also, he could share his love of Africa. Africa is Africa's in my heart. Africa's in my soul. Um, I first went there when I was... 12, 13 years old, the vast open space, the cultures, the communities, the people, the, the wildlife, just the, the freedom. And we call it Centibali. In Sasutu, the local language, it means forget me not. And it's really focused on ensuring that the younger generation are quite literally not forgotten. Look how simple that was. Harry shows up to an event, the press follows and the cameras roll. Yet oddly enough, not one single solitary word was uttered about the Baca people in the Congo. Not one. And they've been pleading for help forever. So we're going to share their pleas for help again. Harry should focus less on his passion projects and more on his legal problems as he's now headed into choppy waters. Prince Harry's U.S. visa application papers handed over to judge amid drug use lawsuit. The media has lost the plot completely. Whether Harry lied or didn't lie about his drug use on official U.S. documents, it does matter. Yes, because everyone needs to be treated fair and equally. But it's not the right question. 
What reporters should have been asking is, why did the government fight for so long and so hard to keep that information hidden from the public? Because right now you got federal judge Carl Nichols. He not only has the problem prince's paperwork in his hands, he is clutching the man's pearls in his vice. And if news reporters were to follow the same trail that I did, and I believe I'm 90% right, not 100, but 90, the American public is about to find out that the guy who ditched his family, give up being a senior working royal, and acts about as royal as a Las Vegas Elvis Well, the citizens of America are about to find out that that guy is living in the States on an A1 head of state visa with all the fringe benefits, privileges, and perks that come with it. The same ones he shares with Megan. Another one, right? Oh, that's right, three. It's still doing it, though. That's excellent. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I can't do it. Nothing sticks in my crawl more than when I believe people are using children. And that's exactly what I think happened here. This was a publicity stunt and nothing more. So I did a little bit of digging. I found out that you had the Children's Hospital of LA does, like every other hospital, yearly fundraisers. This time they were doing it for the entire month of March called Make March Matter. Well, Megan attended the charity event on March 21st of 2024. She was there to help out, right? But she did not allow anyone to share any promotional images or video of the event until 12 days later on April 2nd. So who really was helped? Did the children, were they helped? Did the hospital who required get any? Or did the Megans get to have their press problems deflected for a little while, all while trying to divert coverage away from Princess Catherine? You're going to have to decide that. But I'd love to hear your thoughts about it in the comments down below. One thing is for certain, no matter what the Montecito manipulators ever do, they can never outshine the heart and grace of the one true Princess Catherine. Now, if you enjoyed that video and found value, and hit the subscribe button, share with everyone you know, and to win every battle and stay true to yourself, all you have to remember is, we never bow down, we never bend the knee. Always forward.